everyone, it's Melanie, and um, it's been a little while since I did a video, so I wanted to share with you um, some goodies that I just got in the mail today. Um, I ordered some, uh, a few things from a company called sparkleandsprinkle.com, and they specialize in embossing powders, glitters, you know, that kind of thing, but they also carry some stamps and, you know, a few other um, uh, crafting project or product. So um, I had seen a couple videos um, from them, and I was kind of intrigued by some of their um, their glitters and things like that, and embossing powder. So um, decided to go ahead and um, order some and give it a try and see uh, what they're like. So uh, the order just came today. So let me just share with you what I got. Um, I got a couple of embossing powders, and they come in a couple different sizes. So this is the one ounce. Um, this embossing powder is called Rainbow Eclipse and was a really great price. It's an opaque glitter, it's black, um, but as you can see it's got these great colors in here as well. So I uh, can't wait to see what that's going to look like when um, I actually use the embossing uh, on it. And then I got this one which is called Peppermint Stick and this one is a white glitter, excuse me, a white embossing powder and I'm not sure if you can see, I'm going to try and zoom in here a little bit. Um, but it's got uh, some reds and I think it's got some greens in there, it looks like, um, uh, for the glitter that's in there as well. And then the last embossing powder I got was this one called Gilded Ivory. Uh, these are the half ounce, and then this is the one ounce. And this is, oops, um, again, an ivory and off-white glitter, and it's got a red, or excuse me, a, um, a gold, but it's also... Um, a little iridescent, like iridescent gold in there, or interference gold, whatever whatever term you're used to, um, for the glitter that's inside of it. So I can't wait to play with that. That's going to be really pretty. And it's, it's a semi-transparent, so we'll see how that goes. And then I picked up a glitter. Again, this is their one ounce size. And I only got one because I wanted to see, but it's a fine glitter. And this one is called Blue Raven. And it's so pretty. I love this color. Uh, I really, really can't wait to try this out. I, it looks like it's got black in it as well as different shades of blues, um, but it's no opaque glitter. So, yeah, I can't wait to try that out. And I had gotten them because I was hoping to um, make, uh, I was making some Christmas bulbs and glittering some of my Christmas bulbs. So, um, let me show you real quick what I'm doing here. So I did a video on this uh, two years ago and uh, on this technique, but basically I just took a clear bulb, added some uh, dye ink reinkers, and then poured some glitter in there, gave it a good shake all around, and it turns into this beautiful glittered bulb. And I made a set of six uh, of these in this red color, and it's great because the glitter is on the inside, so you're not going to get glitter all over your fingers. And it's got this really awesome effect. Uh, and they just glow on the tree. It's so pretty when they're on the tree. So I was hoping to uh, try this Blue Raven out to see uh, what it looks like with um, that technique as well. Um, then I picked up a couple of stamps. And they carry stamps in, uh, they're unmounted, but you can get them in either... Uh, just rubber, or you can get them with um, like a clear mount uh, on them, so you get this the foam mounting on there. Um, so it's a little hard to tell, but let's see if you can see this. It's a little girl. She's got a bucket, and there's a, there's a fence here, and kind of a um, clouds and things behind her, and some grass and whatnot. So I got that, and then I got this one, which are chickadees. I love chickadees, and then. I got two phrase stamps. This one, I, and I got this in rubber only, just simply because I wanted to see what their rubber only looked like um, and how it would stamp. So I figured I'd try it out with some something smaller that would be easier to mount. But this one says, if I had a single flower for every time I think of you, I could walk forever in my garden. And then this one, they're not bad, I'm reading this backwards. Um, and this one says, my thoughts are free to go anywhere but it's surprising how often they head in your direction. So, oh, and there goes my cat. <laughs> so, uh, those, so those are the stamps that I got. I'm gonna give those a try. And then what was really cool with the packaging was they, that they sent these um, sample sheets. 
And so uh, depending on what sets you order, they send you these sample sheets so you can kind of get an idea. I believe this is probably from their design team um, of different sets or different um, projects that have been done with these different cards. So there, there's the little girl there with that right there. So you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And then, let's see, what's this one? And this one has the phrase set. So there's the one that I got, the, um, the walking in my garden, and then um, this one is the one about the thoughts. So very cool. I thought that was a fun little addition. And then the last thing they, they did was sent this little sample pack which was really cool. Um, and it says, here are some samples of our products, rubber stamps, glitters, and embossing powders for you to enjoy. Uh, please come and visit our website and blog, which are loaded with video tutorials and samples of what to do with our products. So, this had, and I did take a peek at this before I started this video, sorry, I, could, I, I was impatient. Um, it came with, so two little stamps, and this one says, uh, you trick, I'll treat, and then this little, probably like a cherry it looks like. And then it came with um, these five different powders. So it came with clear detail powder, cotton candy, cosmic semi-transparent embossing powder, and it's got this um, kind of shine to it. It's um, shimmery, it's kind of a shimmery powder. And then the fine glitter, this is Fire Engine Red, and then the tinsel glitter, which is in deep royal and such a pretty color. Look at that, that color is so gorgeous. And then pink spirit, which I believe this is like their, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like a flocking powder, but it's got um, glitter in there as well. So it's, uh, it's in pink spirit, so give this a try too. So I thought that was really cool. That was very nice of them to send that little sample pack, so I'm gonna give those a try. Um, and then one last little thing. So I did the glittered ornaments, but I've also been doing some other glittering. So share with you what I've done. These are going to be ornaments as well. So an Eiffel Tower, and and that's from these laser cut wood ornaments. So I got the Eiffel Tower. I got a snowflake, and they're glittered on both sides. And then I have this starburst, which I I'm thinking I'm going to re-glitter. I didn't. I, I don't think that the clear glitter showed up all that great on it. So. That was the first one I tried. And then I have the Angel, and it's done in a lighter gold. And then the last thing I have is this, which is a word um, plaque type thing. It's just family. And I found this in the dollar section at Michael's. And they come like this. Oh, it's got glitter all over it. Um, but it's like a fabric that's on top of it. I tried peeling it off and I had no luck with it. But basically what I did is I just did a base coat of paint on it. Just craft paint. And then I used, um, then I just put glitter on top of it. And um, it actually was kind of cool with the fabric because it gave it a little bit of tooth to grab onto. And that's what it turns into. Isn't that pretty? So having a lot of fun with glitter, and now that I have my new products from Sparkle and Sprinkle, I'm gonna give these a try, and uh, and see what little what trouble I can get myself into with these, and how much fun I can have with it. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.